Hi students, um, thanks for joining on this video. I think that you will find this lesson to be interesting and hopefully it will answer a difficult question for you about English pronunciation. In this video, we will be talking about the three different pronunciations of ED. Um, the main goal at the end of this video is that you can hear the difference between the three pronunciations. The second goal should be that you start to replicate, you start to repeat, you start to imitate those three different um, differences with the hope that in one year, two years of English practice, you are sounding very fluent, just like a native English speaker and his or her pronunciation of ED. So again, we're talking about the three different pronunciations of ED. And that big goal for the end of the lesson today is that you can hear the difference. Um, the side goal, the secondary goal would be that you start to feel and repeat, replicate, copy um, the difference on your own. So let's jump right into the lesson. When we think about ED, I'm not going to talk in this video about the grammar of the ED. Uh, I do have a plan to make a following video talking about the grammar and the way that ED can be used as a verb. ED can be used as an adjective. Um, and we even see ED added to a noun to make an adjective. So not thinking about the grammar at all. We are only thinking about the pronunciation, about the sound of the ED. With the ED, there are three different sounds that you might hear that are produced in spoken American English. So the first sound is the id. For example, yesterday I visited. I visited. Spoken American English, we have the habit of changing the T to a D. So you might hear visited, visited. Id. We also have a sound in spoken English for t, kicked, kicked. He kicked the ball. She kicked him. My daughter kicked her friend on the playground. And our third sound is the sound of d, played, played. This is not play id. And this is a very common mistake most students who are learning English do. We take the id and we put it in every past. We say, I kick id the ball. I play id. I visited. I love id. I shop id. I visited. I kicked, I played. Why? This is the big question. Why do we have these three different pieces in American English? Um, it's a long explanation. We are going to talk about it in this video. Get some chocolate, get a glass of chai while we talk about this um, difficult concept together. So, ED will make the sound id when it comes after the letter or the sound t or d. This is the easiest piece to memorize. You speak a verb in English, the end of the word has the sound t or d. You will hear id. For example, visited lifted, weighted, frosted, pointed, accepted, inspected, aided, afforded, boarded, nodded, guarded, depended, and loaded. We're not talking about meaning 
only focusing on the pronunciation. Do you hear the id on each of these words? Pause the video, rewind, listen again if you're not sure that you're definitely hearing the id. However, the t is more difficult. ED has the sound t when it comes after the sound of k, s, ch, sh, f, and p. For example, helped, cooked, kissed, pushed, reached, finished, walked, jumped, dressed, laughed, coughed, liked, touched, stopped. Eat some chocolate, drink some chai, rewind again if you need to, listen again to the visited, helped, depended, cooked. Our last sound for ED, ED has the sound D when it comes after everything else. A few example words, realized, seemed. Turned, resumed, covered, played, valued, pulled, tugged, called, enjoyed, rained, snowed, loved. Again, this is not pulled or called. This is called, turned, turned, covered, covered. That id, only after t, d. The big question of why, how do I remember, how do I go home? Should I go home with a list of 500 words and try to memorize? No. T, d. You can memorize this. Visit, visited, depend, depended, aid, aided. You can remember, you can memorize the t, d rule for id. But the others? How do you memorize them? Take a breath, drink some chai. We're going to jump into that in the rest of this lesson. If we come back to our thinking about these three different sounds, the id, the t, and the d sound, um, the id with visit, visited, we can memorize this. Definitely we can memorize. After the sound of t or the sound of d, you will have id. Um, you come to a new verb, a word you've never seen before, like imitate. Imitate. Ed imitated because of that t sound at the end of the word. Definitely we can memorize that. The other lists of sounds, it comes down to this feeling on your throat. And this is something in language study that we t call a voiceless or a voiced sound. And what I mean by this voiceless, when I say the word kick. Put your fingers on your voice box here. If I say the word kick, k, 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 there is no movement here.
But if I say the word play, e, y, y, there is movement, there is vibration. And this is what I mean by this idea of voiced and voiceless. If we come back to the list of vocabulary from those previous slides, help. Put your fingers on your throat and say the word help. P -p. There is no movement. Helped. Cook. K -k. There is no movement here in my vocal cord. There is no movement. The sound of t, cooked, kiss, no movement, kissed, push, pushed, reach, ch, ch, reached, finish, no movement here. This is called a voiceless sound. You will have the t because is also voiceless. Voiceless sound at the end of the verb, you will use t because t is also voiceless. Jumped, dressed, laughed, coughed, liked, touched, stopped. All of these sounds at the end, there is no movement of your vocal cord. There is no vibration. Again, thinking about the list from earlier in this video. Realize. Z, z, z. There is movement of my vocal cord. This is a voiced sound. You have d because d is also voiced, realized, seemed, turned, resumed. Stretch out the sound, feel the movement on your throat, feel the difference between laugh and turn, that movement, covered, played, valued. When there is movement of the vocal cord at the end of the verb, the sound will be d. Don't think about this as voiced and voiceless because these are linguistic words. These are words that language professors use. Think about vibration. Vibration is the movement, the shaking. When I have a new word, a new verb, should I make the t or the d? There is no vibration. Cough. Cough. Achieve. There is vibration. Achieve. Dream, vibration. If there is vibration, use the d. A dream, achieved, dreamed. Can you hear the difference? This is the main goal, remember. The main goal of this lesson is that you can hear the difference between the three different sounds of E, D, the three different pronunciations of E, D. Um, I want to read for you a small paragraph. As you are listening, there will be 13 different E, D words. You don't have to write, just listen and try to identify. This is id, this is t, or this is d. Okay. A few weeks ago, a man decided to visit his sister. Before he visited her house, he walked down the road. Suddenly, a cat jumped out and howled at him. 
the man flinched and backed away from the annoyed cat. A car passed on the road and honked its horn. The cat turned and ran away. After this experience, the man decided to drive his car and he avoided walking along that road. Pause the video, rewind, listen again, try to identify that id, t, or d. Let me read for you again, showing the sentences here. Again, listening, can you identify the id, t, or d? A few weeks ago, a man decided to visit his sister. Before he visited her house, he walked down the road. Suddenly, a cat jumped out and howled at him. The man flinched and backed away from the annoyed cat. A car passed on the road and honked its horn. The cat turned and ran away. After this experience, the man decided to drive his car and he avoided walking along that road. If you really want to push yourself, leave a comment under the video with these 13 words. Identify if you think they should be id, t, or d. <sighs> okay, I hope you are feeling okay at the end of this long practice. Um, the biggest goal is that you can hear the difference between the three different sounds. The second goal is that you can feel the difference. If I have the word walk, k, k, walk, there is no vibration. No vibration should be t, walked. You hear the word pass, pass, no vibration. No vibration should be t, past. You hear the word turn, turn, vibration, turn, d, d, d. Decide, the sound of d at the end, always id, decided. Leave a note in the comments. How do you feel about this video? This is a really, really difficult piece of pronunciation. Um, until next time, students, take care. Bye.